In this video, I'm going to show you how to use EDP Workforce Now for payroll in 2025. So if you're a beginner, this tutorial will help you out. So the first thing that you should do, go and open a browser. In the browser, you'll have to go to the URL section. And of course, we'll have to go to a specific URL. You can go and type an example adp.com uh, as well and try to log in and stuff like that. But if you enter this URL, you will be taken right away into it. What is it? It's simply work course now dot adp dot com once you do it you'll be taken here to sign in right away with your user id if you don't have a user id and if it's your first time you can go and click on get started if you click on get started you'll basically have to click on i have a registration code if you have it to so enter it out and if you don't have it you can go as an example instead to click on find me here you'll be able to enter your email or mobile or here it's better to enter your information so they can find you if you enter an example that normally you shouldn't find anything because it's your first time. So you'd like to get an example uh, or buy it at least. So you can go an example to adp.com. Once you do, you should find yourself here. If you go to what's it offer, payroll, click on uh, payroll overview, you should find yourself here. So you can go and click on get pricing. And here you'll have to enter some questions. So does your company or employer, employer can actually use ADP? So if yes, click on next. No, just answer how is it? And here you can choose an example, uh, which services you're interested in. Click on next example, number of employees and stuff. So I'm just going to enter like some random stuff in here because I already normally done this. So here you'll have then to enter your full name, mobile number and the uh, country. Then click on get pricing. Normally then an agent will contact you uh, within an example a day or two max. And they will explain to you an example the features of ADP and everything about it. And then they will offer you a price independent on the number of employees that you have and a lot of other factors. So you can go and wait that. In the meantime, you can go and click on launch self-guided demo. If you want to try a demo first and see if you like it, then you'll be able, of course, to go and get your pricing. For example, if you have a 1 to 50 employees and you have 50 plus, so it each uh, like option has its own pricing example if you have one 250 and you want just uh, enhanced payroll you can go and get pricing as example for that and stuff like that for you if you go and click on launch the self-guided uh, demo as example you'll have to basically go through all kind of the questions that we went through before so for me i'm not going through all of that because i've already did it as you can see right here so you'll find the thank you then you'll find access self-guided demo once i go and choose that basically they will take you through a demo that they will explain everything about the payroll if you want to allow the app to play audio, you can go and click on yes. And basically, then you can go and click on start demo. So here you'll find some uh, like headings that you'll be able to click on. Let's just start this example by overview. You'll be able to hear a voice an example of an AI guest agent that will explain everything for you. So you can even enable this autoplay, which basically will get you everything to know everything about ADP payroll. They will ex uh, like explain how to access the payroll section how uh, to enter the employee hours so they have example sections for that you'll be able to uh, enter like uh, the employee hours depending if they are hourly employees or if someone has overtime example and even for salary employees example you'll be able then to uh, review deduction and taxes uh, you'll be able also to re review the payroll submit the payroll access the reports and a lot of other stuff course once you finish with overview you can go to how to hire people once you're done with this you have a lot of other headings that you can go through for me let me just go and mute that so i can talk so as you can see until you finish with track time and attendance so they will show you how to do everything so this beginner guide that they offer it's very very useful for beginners to understand how to use the adp pay role right now in 2025 and of course, they keep it up to date. So whenever you want, you can always come here and try to get an example yourself guided demo. And of course, this will be dependent on the informations or uh, the info that you entered an example once you're answering those questions. So they will give you something specific for you. So just some uh, example quick tips for beginners that people that are going to use this example right now, they are going to pay an example, they already may be uh, did the meeting with the agents and they offered them a price they're planning to uh, pay it so i'm just going to tell you some few quick tips for the beginners the first thing that you would like to do is set reminders because payroll deadlines are strict late submissions can delay the employee pay make sure to also one attest payroll if you're new 
try practice run before your real payroll date. Also, make sure to fix any mistakes. Fixing mistakes is very important. So if you notice any error after submitting, ADP lets you void payroll or run an off cycle payroll to correct it. Also, make sure to keep the employee data updated. Always update the tax forms, addresses, and benefits enrollment as soon as they change. Is following and of course following these steps uh, will basically save you uh, from uh, the most common payroll issues because a lot of beginners fall into one of these issues that I just mentioned. So make sure to set reminders, run a test payroll, fix and mistakes as soon as you see it, and keep employee data updated. And basically that should be it. You sh once you finish an example the demo right here. You should be learned how to log in, how to enter hours, how to review taxes, submit payroll, uh, generate reports inside ADP Workforce Now, and plus. So you've got uh, some few pro tips and examples for me to keep payroll running smoothly every time. So are you already using ADP for payroll, or is this your first time since now? Let me know in the comments below if this helped you or this video helped you. So make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to catch you in the next video.